Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amalia's Academy. We were discussing about matplotlib package and today in this tutorial let's see how to add annotation to the plot. Annotation is nothing but adding note to the diagram or text to explain about that point in the diagram or text. While reading a book, you will mark few words in that book. You will write down the another meaning of that complex word. That is nothing but annotation. You are adding note to the text to explain about that word. In the same way, if you want to add note or explanation to the diagram, if you want to explain any point in your diagram, then you can add annotation to the plot. For that, we can use annotate function. I know in the previous tutorial, we discussed about the text function, which allows us to add text to the plot. It also allows us to add the annotation to the plot. But comparing to the annotate function, text function has very basic features. All right, so let's see the syntax of annotate function and how it works. This annotate function belongs to pyplot modules. You need to write matplotlib.pyplot.annotate. And the first parameter is yes. Next followed by x, y. Next here arguments. Next we have keyword arguments. So what this function will do? This function will annotate the x, y point with the text yes. So here yes is nothing but the text. What text you want to add to the plot? Obviously it will take the string value. Next is x, y. x, y is nothing but the coordinates. It will take float and float value. You need to mention the x coordinate and y coordinate. And this is the point where you want to annotate. The point to annotate. Next we have arguments. We can have multiple arguments as well as we can have multiple keyword arguments. This keyword arguments helps us to change the text properties like font, font style, font size, etc. Alright, so this is about the annotate function and here yes and xy is compulsory. You need to mention this rest is optional. So let's see the example for this first. So in the Python file here, we can see our program. We are importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt and we are plotting the graph using plot. And here we have show function to display the graph. Now we want to add annotation to the plot. So we need to use annotate function and we need to use this function before the show function. So plt dot annotate. So here plt is nothing but matplotlib dot pyplot and here annotate. Right. Next, I need to take the first parameter text, which text you want to add to the plot. So here I'll take text as point. You can take anything, the suitable text. Next, we need to mention the x, y coordinate, which point you want to annotate. Similar to the text function, annotate functions also use the data coordinate system. So the coordinates are dependent on the data. So if you want to change that, you can use other parameters that I'll explain you later. For now, remember that we need to take the coordinate based on the data. We need to take two values, x coordinate and y coordinate. That should be float and float. So here I'll take 0 and 10. So if I take 0 and 10, it will take 0, 0.0, 10.0, right? We have x and y. Here x is 0 and y is 10. Here this is our data, 10, 20, 30, 40. This is the y coordinate value. So it will take the default x value that is 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm taking here 0 and 10. So let's execute this. Let's see what happens here. So here we can see at the point 0 and 10 here we can see point. So here we can see the annotation. I explained you about the data coordinate system in the previous tutorial while explaining about the text function. So you need to watch that to understand this. Now if you want to change the location, I can take as 10 to 20. And here we can see at 10 and 20. If you want, you can take 1 and 20 also like this. Right. Now we know how to use the annotate function. Next, if I want to change the text properties, then I can use the keyword arguments like this. I can mention size as uh, 20. I can change the color red. Here we can see size and color is changed. I won't explain much about the keyword arguments because we discussed about that many times in this video series. 
if you watch previous video tutorials on different functions you will understand that how it works so this is the general syntax of annotate function if you want to use different arguments in the annotate function then how to do that to do that we can write an another syntax and here we can take yes xy after that i can take xy text after that i can take xy chords next i can take text chords next i can take arrow props next i can take annotation clip next i can take keyword arguments here we can take these arguments also xy text xy chords text chords arrow props annotation clip so i'll explain you about this now so here xy text will give you the position of the text in the plot xy will give you the position where you want to annotate right and this xy text will give you the position where you want to place the text so this is the optional parameter if you didn't mention this it will take the xy as the position for the text this also takes float and float the coordinates as i said this xy text will be the position where you want to place the text in the plot if you didn't mention this it will take this value for the text so that's why when i didn't mention here when i didn't mention the xy text here i just mentioned the s value and xy value so that's why text also placed in the same point that is 020 if you want to change the position of the text then here you can do that here i'll take xy text after xy and i'll take 0.5 25 here we can see it will place the point here text here the annotation point is this 1920 but the point or the text is placed here based on the xy text value so you can change the text position in the plot using xy text parameter if you didn't mention this it will take the xy value for the text all right so this is about the xy text next here we have xy chords and text chords this is to take the coordinate system for xy and text here you can change the coordinate system of xy using xy chords here by default this annotate function will take coordinate system as data right if you want to change that you can use this xy chords parameter and if you want to change the coordinate system of text then you can use text chords parameter and uh, you have different value for these two parameters you can uh, check the documentation and you can see that so here we have xy chords can take str artist transform or callable or tuple it is optional it is the coordinate system that xy is given in so you can change the coordinate system of xy here right here we can see different value and here you can use that and for text chords here we can see str optional it is also optional it is for the text the coordinate system for text and here you can see offset points and offset pixels the value you can mention this value okay i won't explain much about this for now we'll stick on to the data coordinate system because we can understand that better right if you want to change that you can experiment with that values and next we have arrow props if you want to add arrow between the text and the point that is the annotated point that is the position where we mentioned xy if you want to arrow between xy text and xy then you can use this arrow props okay so this is the dictionary value it will take a dictionary value you need to take key and value pair it is optional if you didn't mention that it won't add any arrow between the text and the annotation point so i'll show you now here we can see we have s here xy and xy text we didn't use arrow props parameter so now if i execute this here we can't see any arrow between the xy point and the text right now if you want to add that then here you can use arrow props dictionary here one more thing if you are mentioning xy text xy chords text chords arrow props annotation clip everything then no need to mention the name of this parameter like arrow props equal to no need to mention that here we can see i didn't mention xy text equal to and this value right because here xy text is present at the third position correct position right now in my example i am not taking xy chords and text chords i am taking arrow props directly 
so i need to take arrow props equal to i need to take the dictionary if you are mentioning x y cards text cards after that you are mentioning arrow props then you no need to mention the name of the parameter so here i need to mention arrow props and if i take empty dictionary it will add an arrow between the text and the annotation point i'll show you that here we can see an arrow between the text and the annotation point it is pointing we are explaining about this point instead of text you can write it like this this is the point where we are mentioning 1 and 20 here you can see and you can change the arrow style arrow width and all using the key value pair so in the arrow props it is in the dictionary you can take different key and value pair you can take key as arrow style and you can take these different style using that arrow style we can change the style of arrow for example here i can take key as arrow style and here i can mention different value so i'll take uh, here we have different styles and you can use any style here i'll use this arrow and uh, dash like this so here we can see the arrow style now it is changed right the direction of arrow or we can use this also so it will add arrow in both side right you can change the arrow style like this if you didn't use arrow style as key then we can use these keys if you use arrow style we can't use this key if you didn't use arrow style then you can use width head width head length shrink as key and we can change the width head width or head length of the arrow for example here we can see if i didn't take this i can take width i'll take width as 10 we can change the width of the arrow as i said we can't use width and arrow style together here we can see we'll get error we can use these keys when we didn't use key as arrow style if you take arrow style as key then we can't use this so like this you can add arrow and you can change the style of arrow and um, size of arrow etc so the next is annotation clip so this parameter is also optional it will take the boolean value true or false this will tell when the annotation point that is the xy is outside the axis area whether you want to draw the annotation or not if you take true so it won't draw when the xy point is outside the plot if it is false it will draw okay we can see the annotation outside the plot also so the default value is none so i'll show you the example for that so here what i'll do is i'll take the value as 0 and 45 and i'll remove this okay i don't want these values now so now if i execute this so here we can see 45 is outside the axis so we can't see the annotation now now if you want to add this if you want to an add annotation then you can take annotation clip as true sorry you need to take annotation clip as false right here we can see the annotation right it is about whether you want to draw the annotation outside the axis or not okay so this is about the annotate function so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care